How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I got a controversial topic that we're gonna discuss. Of course, these are my opinions, and I wanna kind of get your brain working. And I saw a lot of the lone wolf mentality. Originally, it was just funny, but now there are actually serious people that think that they are going to go into a catastrophic situation alone, or at least just with their family. Like as in just immediate family, not extended. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous, honestly, as in going through and actually considering an alone mindset with no community. It is absolutely ridiculous and unrealistic. And let me explain why, because I imagine some of you are furiously commenting, well, my neighbors suck and I hate them. <laughs> I mean, that's just it. I mean, you're going to still have your neighbors there and they're gonna either be an asset to you or they're not. So you might as well utilize them. And now before we get down on that topic, how do you expect to do everything alone? As in procure water. I mean, that takes a massive amount of calories in, in general to get clean, filtered, drinkable water. That takes a lot of time. And just with that, it's gonna take calories to do that. So you're gonna be getting food, you're gonna be making food. Okay, cool, there's two steps. What about um, security? You're always gonna need security because if a catastrophic situation does occur and it gets bad enough, there is no law enforcement, there's no cops, there's no you know, military or anything like that. It's pretty much you're on your own for the most part. And one hour that you sacrifice from security could be a potential breach or could be someone observing you and going, hmm, that's interesting. There's a house with smoke or that house has seems to be nicely kept compared to the other ones in the neighborhood or there seems to be a lot of activity at that home. Just one of those things, just security wise, just lapsing just for a little bit of time, it could be over. Even sleep. I mean, are you just going to sleep with no security whatsoever? Uh, that's just inviting for something to happen. But even if you are out way out in the middle of nowhere, you still need to be aware of your surroundings. I mean, it's almost impossible to do the lone wolf mentality because someone is going to show up and take your stuff. You're going to be amazed, honestly, by going into a situation, how many people are going to actually be around. You're going to think, oh, it's going to be, you know, pretty calm and there's not going to be a lot of people and the cities are going to be the places that it's, you know, crazy at, not the neighborhoods. You're going to see people all over the place and they're going to be desperate and they're going to be willing to do anything. So that 30 minute nap that you took because you just grabbed, you know, 20 gallons of water from the creek and lugged them all up to your house. You're like, I'm going to take a quick nap. Cool. You wake up, your water's gone. These are just all scenarios, but you cannot do everything. You need a community. You need a community of preferably like-minded people. But if you don't have like-minded people, say your neighbors are not like-minded and they're terrible, they still need basic needs. They need food, water, and shelter. And if you can provide that, you can be an asset to them. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be all great and they're going to do everything you say, but you need hands to do stuff. Even if you don't like certain people, you may be able to recruit them in to your neighborhood community and assist you. You're going to need people. It's just the reality of it. And that's what I want to discuss. Build your relationships with people. Even if you despise your neighbors and they're terrible people, maybe just say hi and introduce yourself because at least that is one step closer. If something bad would happen, at least they kind of know who you are rather than I've never saw you a day in my life and we've lived next to each other for four years. <laughs> you know, cell phones, don't really help that is we're always constantly here and we're not out talking to people anymore. So get out there, invite them out. Just say, hi. You don't even have to invite them out. Just say, hi, I'm your neighbor. Um, here's your newspaper or I found something or here's this, you know, like just be polite because they may become an asset in the future. Now, if you live out in the middle of nowhere and you have no neighbors, you probably do have neighbors. They're just ridiculously far away as in 
maybe 20 minutes down the road or five or 10 minutes a drive, especially out in like Wyoming, Montana, there's large gaps of space, but they are still considered your neighbor and they are the closest resource to help you. And you are considered a community, even if you are all 30 minutes apart or 20 minutes apart of walking distance, you're still a community just because you're in that localized area. So you can't do it all alone. That's just my opinion. It's just unrealistic. I've been overseas and everybody comes together as a community. So you're going to want to build relationships. It's, it's just a fact of the matter. Even if another rival group, if you just think you're going to do it alone and I have this and I'm going to post up and I'm like, I'm good. I got night vision and I got the suppressors and I'm set. Okay. One on one, maybe one on two. Uh, starting looking bad. What if 25 people show up and want your stuff? Two of them can flank to the right 200 meters out and shoot you and you're dead. You have no flanking support. It's just you. See? See what I mean? All right. That's what I'm going to discuss. What do you guys think? Go in the comment section. I want to hear what you think about this. Honestly, is... Maybe you do have that lone wolf mentality and you think that there is no way to establish relationships. There are. You just might have to have the situation that may occur, push those and bloom those relationships even if you absolutely hate each other. All right, so if you guys like this kind of stuff, want to see more talk, want me to go in more in depth with this, as in community preparedness, I plan on doing more of that. Neighborhood protection plan, that kind of stuff. I'm going to bring that series back. So definitely like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. PayPal, Patreon, all that fun stuff. You know, if you would like to support this kind of YouTube channel thing that I got going on, then go ahead and do so. If you don't want to, then keep enjoying the free content. Other than that, hope you all have a great day.